take me to the moon uh, I just need some space, give me some room uh, If you don't get out of my way, I'ma be doomed uh, Fresh to death like every day, so where my tune? Uh, they used to hate me, now they change they fucking tune uh, Do the dash, I'm in a race, yeah, I go zone uh, If you don't get out of my way, I'ma be doomed uh, I'm dead as hell, they tryna take me to my tune I'm off these drawers because they take me to the moon. Hey, I don't got no OG or no idols. Not no idols. Ay, I don't got no big homie because I don't like it. I, don't like it. Ay, I know I'ma be the GOAT because I don't try to. I don't try to. Ay, pussy nigga say he Kobe, but well, bitch, I'm Michael. I said protein like it's Michael. Watch that hoe, she just might spike. I hit a shot right there from the back. Drag my protein right after I pipe. I just might bust out my wrist after I bust on the bitch. That shit is nice. I'm excited to hear your new shit, especially the. I really like the new video, even though, like, my favorite stuff for you is always going to be, like, the like the more lyrical stuff when you're like yeah just, man because exactly. i was telling mike like skill level rapping ability level just going through like your rhyme schemes and bars there's not yeah. actually many people nicer than you out here right now like there's not that like hey, that freestyle really you're posted the other day is nuts that's crazy i really appreciate it dude oh, and for um, sure. like for real because i've been doing this like since since like Honestly, I was born in '97. I've probably been doing this since 2001. Like, that's just that's just how it works. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm a very we have, we have a very musical family. So, what's your what's your I, memory? Like, first memory of like doing this shit. I mean, I used to always just run around the house wanting to be like juvenile or like Lil Wayne or something. Like, mm -hmm. but I'll probably say I remember my mom had wrote had wrote a rap for me. I think it was my mom, if I'm not mistaken. It was my mom and my auntie Alex. But they wrote a rap for me. I remember the rap, but I'm not gonna rap it. But yeah, like I was like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want. Out, out here at Ghostwriters yeah. and shit way back when. Exactly, dog. <laughs> he was the first Quentin Miller, whoever it was. The first Quentin Miller. Oh, man, was crazy. It was hard though. It was tough though. I was like, wow, okay. Like just thinking about it now, I'm like, that's cool yeah. as hell. So you, your family's been like super supportive <laughs> with this shit too, huh? Yeah, I know a lot of people don't kind of don't got that luxury, mm -hmm. but yeah, my family, my family loves my music, or at least on my mother's side, my my, my dad's side, they kind of like a little separate from it, but yeah, for sure. Are you are you from I'm Atlanta, right? Um, I was born in Pensacola, but I moved up here probably I was like a year or under a year old, I would say something like that. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. I'm definitely from South Atlanta, College Park. Yeah. So, was your like, what kind of, what kind of stuff did you listen to growing up? Was it just like the like Wayne and that type of stuff that you already mentioned, or like, cause I can, cause right. here's the thing. Bro, I'm gonna break it down. Keep Bro, going I'm, see, I'm, 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 I'm looking at your stories. You have you 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 have some shit. You have some shit. Like I I know you're you you know you know your Jay Z better than like. Yeah. few people you put you put only a customer on your story people yeah, don't know yeah, about see, only a customer <laughs> you need to know your jay-z yeah. shit to know that exactly exactly i ain't gonna lie man Pove that dude with me i was just telling my brother my brother downstairs right now we was just gonna have a debate on why hove is can can be looked at as the greatest rapper i'm not gonna say he's the best but it's a lot that that goes into that, but we ain't we ain't got to talk about that right now. My, my like, list is JT, but like I know Wayne is number one. That's all I need to know. Wayne, Wayne, your number one. Mm -hmm. I could I could, oh, I could mess wow. with that. I can mess with that. My brother would agree with that too. It's like okay, so my 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 top five. It kind of changes, but it's it's pretty concurrent with the same artist. So basically, what I'm saying, like I'll have Andre 3000 number one. One day, then I'll probably have Hove or Kendrick number one or Wayne number one or T.I. number one. See, people don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people really can't process how great of, like, a lyrical artist T.I. was. Like, if we canceled out the hit, it, no, matter of fact, let's not cancel out the hits. That's let's add, let's add the actual man. lyrical content into the hits. T.I. is possibly... The most consistent artist of all time. Mm -hmm. Like it's he's just an like, excellent artist too. Like even even the shit he all does of, like all out of his pocket. Always getting locked up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This man made a blur a song called Blur Lines, and <laughs> like, come on, dude. Nobody expected that from him. But yeah, I say what I grew up listening to, dog, is probably I grew up listening to. Of course, I'm from the South, so Ti, 
Wayne, Outkast. My dad had me on Boosie Heavy. But then, like, okay, so basically, as you can tell, as I'm younger, it's becoming a lot more Southern. I get into middle school. That's when, like, you know, the internet is, is like, and YouTube is, is starting to yeah. pop a little more. So around then, like, you know, everybody goes through, like, the phase of listening to, like, you know, what's popping around the time, like the new boys or whatever. I was trying to listen to, like, I was listening to, like, Drake and Lil Wayne Ransom. Like, I was listening to all the old, like, comeback season Drake and Dedication mm-hmm. Wayne, like, early on. Like, I was riding around listening to No Ceilings at 13 with my dad. Like, the whole yeah, thing. Green Ranger, like, the man. whole thing. Was that, is, wait, that's, see, that is Dedication 4. But, yes. Yeah. Didn't he do it twice? Yes. Didn't he do it twice? I don't. Did he do that? I thought, I it, was on, like I thought it was on an earlier dedication too. I think he. I think he did do special delivery on like an earlier dedication because that beat is legendary. And you, I don't, yeah, I don't, and then I he flipped it on the Carter that. again. Yeah, he had to rap on that twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, like yeah, dog. So as I grow up, you know, it goes from Drake and Wayne, sixth grade, Ti. Still, I wasn't. I ain't gonna lie, y'all might like stone me for this. I was never a heavy Kanye fan. Is mm. I, I I don't know what it is, but I was see I was like it was like the Fifty Cent versus Kanye duel that was happening. But I was never a Fifty Cent fan either, so I kind of just hated both of them. But <laughs> you just stayed I, out I of it. Like Kanye, I, I had to grow to like Kanye. West. What about how like Atlanta was changing? Like I mean, as you grew up here, like I mean, obviously different artists. That's like. That was like, it's honestly crazy because certain artists that blew up a little before, I mean, a little like in like 2013, like Young Thug, they had their hands on the culture, or at least my generation when like in 2010, even like before Stoner came out or like right when Racks on Racks on Racks dropped. Like it was, Atlanta is very like, it's hard to, it's hard to gauge how, how the city, how the city handles it. Cause we kind of get it, we, we get it like way earlier. The, the real burn is though how y'all like take it like because <laughs> seven years ago eight eight years ago I would never thought no one no no dudes from up north would be listening to Young Thug that's just a fact like fact. we got to high school and Young Thug took over the world like and we was like what like how did that happen he was just an underground artist like he was like he was like Schooly like if y'all know who Schooly is yeah, like, yeah. He's a rich Exactly. No one, no one really knows who school he is, but everybody knows his voice because mm-hmm. he landed on the track pad. Yeah, like it was like, and it was it was a big shift for me because coming from somebody who liked more lyrical rap, I ain't like, I wasn't really always the most favorable to this music or the most favoring to this music. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, same here. Like, that's 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 like trap that's has that's been evolving that's... so much, like literally in your area, especially. You know, like yeah, exactly. Exactly. And see, that's another thing. Like, who says that trap can't be lyrical? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. who says that it even has to be trap just because it's on the, on the, because it's not on a break beat? You know what I mean? Yeah. But mm-hmm. also, who says that me rapping so lyrically has to be boom bap? I feel like my whole mystique is going to be how well I kind of display every facet of rap. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I think I think you're at a good point right now because genres are kind of falling apart. You know, there's so many people going in different directions and melding shit together. Exactly. That like Lil Pump just it. did rock. Like, how are we gonna get over this? <laughs> Lil Pump did rap. Is it a what? Dude, dude rocking his MAGA hat. Jesus, Jesus <laughs> Christ! We needed Lil Pump. We needed him. <laughs> but by that by that logic, we needed Soldier Boy too. Hey, hey, man. We actually, hey. actually kind of needed Soldier Boy a little bit. Like, I hate Soldier Boy. Like, I, I, I don't hate him as much as I hate Lil Pump, but like, I mean. Yeah, Soldier Boy, yeah, Soldier Boy can be a jerk, but yeah. at least yeah, he yeah, Soldier Boy was not up at the Trump rally. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, at least Soldier Boy gave us, Soldier Boy gave us Gucci Bandana. Mm-hmm. Soldier Boy gave us Gucci Bandana. So he kind of. <laughs> Oh, he's selling his like PS4s and Playstations and all his exactly. various various technology. Bro, I forgot all about the soldier game. <laughs> is he like is he out of prison? Yeah, he, yeah, he's he out. Yeah, he, <laughs> but he might have going on, on there, he, on, but... he on Twitch now. That's his thing. Oh, yeah, wow. he beefing with Drake before. 
every washed rapper gets on Twitch and people just like right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang, mm-hmm. Logic. Why be an almighty J rapper? Why be an almighty J is deaf wise and he gets some puka. <laughs> That's not a good look. I still fuck hey. with T Pain, but T Pain's on there too. <laughs> hey, when you get with Black China, it's a rap. It's a rap. You, 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 yeah, you're done. Black China. You're yeah. Done. I don't know how he, I don't know how he thought that. See, I heard he bought that too. Like, how you go pay for clout, but it worked in reverse. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> I mean, that's cl- like Joe Budden had the episode clout running in place the other day. That's exactly what that is. Not gonna Yo, lie. I love Joe. That's, yeah, that's, me too. I ain't gonna lie. I like a lot of people hate him, but I understand it. I feel like people really misunderstand like him a little bit just because, like, he's just so passionate. Like, he feels like he owes hip hop so much because it saved his life, yeah. and he wouldn't he wouldn't be here. Also, like, his last album yeah, had some shit on it. It's underrated. Yeah, he yeah, I, yeah. I like that Rage in the Machine album. But see, mm-hmm. I I kind of relate to Joe Button. I'm a, like, because I could be a jerk too, just in terms of me being very sarcastic. I'm a very, very sarcastic person. Mm-hmm. But he's a freaking contrarian for no reason. Like, that's, I feel like that's the only thing. He likes playing the devil's advocate, like, advocate, you know? Like, so much. Yeah. So much. Dude, it's for that. the conversation. Uh, it's for the conversation. Yeah, Rory and Marlon Parks love him out, definitely. Like, because <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If that was just him on the platform by himself, he probably would have been blackballed yeah. so long. Mm-hmm. He, he, yeah. definitely, he, he definitely is small. He needs like, like Kanye right like, now. Yeah, facts. He needs the black man with exaggerated swagger to calm him down. Ma, that's definitely mom. <laughs> Baby, too. And, and, and like, you know, the wholesome white guy who's, you know, who's in a steady relationship. And like, you exactly. know. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm in the mall camp, in. bro. I'm in the mall camp. Yo, I, rem- I actually oh. miss everyday struggle. Like, I remember like four years ago when that show good. just started. Like, I used to watch it like on the regular. Yeah, exactly. Especially because I remember it dropped as soon as Kendrick dropped Damn and Pebble Cardi dropped Pebble Cardi. So it was that was a very great time, like just for that show when Joe was there. That was just a great year for music. But after that, it got so bad. Like when they put Star on there, if y'all know who Star is, yeah. like from the old from old radio, crazy. I don't think it, anybody it was knew who was. <laughs> Bruh, I, see, I ain't gonna lie. The only reason I knew who Star was is because it's the same reason why I got into underground hip hop because I was homeschooled for a year. I like I got kept back trying to be smart. Like they put me in talented and gifted classes for like geniuses, and then I start freaking off because I thought I was a genius. <laughs> got kept back. Um, yeah. Did homeschool that year and got 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 put on the Hot ninety seven Breakfast Club Star and Joey Badass. <laughs> oh man, yo, is, is he a big influence for you? You think? Um, like, all right. So I got a theory. There's like three, three current influences. Three or four. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say five, just because you got Earl, Tyler, Mac, Rocky. And I'm just talking about, and I ain't talking about like just favorite music. I just mean influential in terms of how we how we rap and how we look. Mm-hmm. I I kind of think all of that comes from Doom, though. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even a big Doom fan. Mm-hmm. Like, my yeah, like, they all took I pages influ- out of his book. Yeah, and Joey was rapping exactly. on like Doom beats in like 1999. Exactly, exactly. That's how that's how I, that's how I got real acquainted with Doom. Besides, I'll say. Bef- well, no, it wasn't because you had the you had like all caps was on Boondocks, but also Tyler had rapped on on what beat is that? I just, I, one beer. He rapped on one beer with so Casey Veggie, Odd Tyler's. Oh man, Casey oh, Odd Tyler's. I think I think yeah I, I, yeah I think that was Odd Tyler's. I think that's the beat name. I think that's the song name is uh one beer. But they rapped on that beat. That was the first time I heard anything doom and like while i'm conscious of good rap you know what i'm saying like that jump was so crazy to me that's the beat right, like tyler saying hello the hype is so mellow i'm dope and the pipe is so yellow i ain't gonna lie that was probably the bar that changed my whole outlook of rap that's fine that 
And I was thinking about it. That's crazy. Like, I remember me and my brother about 10 years ago. Like, I came home from school and was like, search up Tyler the Creator. Heard of this guy. They said I looked like him back in the day. So <laughs> I searched him up. I ain't like it at first. Like, I was like, what is wrong with this dude? He didn't even wrote it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. I got put down crazy. Me and my brother, we, like, he hated it more than me. <laughs> and then started loving it. But I, like, I, like I'm just not realizing that Odd Toddlers was, like, my first, like, real life. And it's, it's funny you I, say those, like, those specific people because I feel like looking at Backseat, you all have like, your own thing going on here, and it's kind of reminiscent of the, like, the vibes put off by Odd Future and mm-hmm. Pro Era. Yes, sir. Like, it's like y'all really collected and like really put your faces out there, you know, act yourself. Like it's really dope that y'all are doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I appreciate that, dude. Like, like for real, because we like a few of us, we got our head in the game, dude. Like, we really got our head in the game. Like, and me, my dog Smiles, my dog mm-hmm. Silk, my dog Elon. Like, it's 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 about nine of us in the crew, but it's uh, some like sometimes I don't know what be in dudes' heads. All I know is for sure me, smiles and silk. That's like we probably the most devoted guys in Atlanta or in mm-hmm. Georgia when it comes to this. Because I mean it makes it makes a lot of sense, even just considering like your body of work in like the last year, because like like you had crimes and onto the kumpo off of Silky's project, and then you had patterns yeah. in that in that yeah. other in that yeah. other one you dropped. Yeah. Okay, this year. Oh, what's up? You did your homework. <laughs> I didn't do my homework, bro. We're awesome. just bumping that shit. Like, like listen, I'm, shit. I'm in Atlanta. I like, said, you I said, I, didn't I, didn't know, video. I was like, this is nuts. That is hard. I really appreciate that. I'm sure they will too. Like, no cap, okay. but like. like you guys like, is like I, chemistry stands out like crazy. Like you're just it's it's like one of those things. Whether it was like Wu Tang or Tribe Called Quest or any of those groups back in the day, where it's like you guys are like competing to get the best verse. It's like another another yeah. song that I can't. I I was shocked that you posted on your story because it's one of my all time favorites, Fast Life by G Rap and Nas, where they're just trading bars yeah. and it's it's just like exactly. they're trying to one up each other and like you guys you guys just like are just. Exactly. The powers see, of the S together. I blame, I, blame, I, I blame that energy on me. I ain't gonna lie. They probably wouldn't be that 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 like that fired up to buy each other if it wasn't for me saying that I'm gonna kill y'all every song. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and but that, but not for nothing. That's a good thing because it's never like an animosity. You know what I mean? It's never like yeah, it's in, like fun. yeah, exactly. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to make each other rap better mm-hmm. and I, I only knew them i only knew them dudes for like i knew smiles for like two and a half two 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 and a half years something like that i knew silk for like one and a half me and silk wow. made cold soul almost immediately me you know what i'm saying that's like an album i dropped in in december on soundcloud silk uh, me like silk made like seven beats on there me and smiles we got a whole project put up like where he just produced on it though he didn't rap on it at all mm-hmm. he just produced on it mm-hmm. it's called I ain't gonna curse because my grandparents are here, but F word rap is what it's oh, called. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember that one. You exactly. got you kind of got a whole like discography on SoundCloud alone. Like you're you're prolific yeah. with it. You drop a lot of shit, which hey, is, I, I, people need to I, do. I appreciate it, dog. And I'm I'm trying to get it on. I got want to get some of it on Apple Music and like all the streaming services, but I feel like it's gonna be a little cooler when like to the fans to have like this whole separate. Like, like the origin story of Marco Plus, because you already having like I'm, I'm putting all of this stuff on, on, on streaming platforms now. Like I just uploaded my my newest album Plus Two yesterday. That should come out the 23rd. So like, I'm just gonna try to keep elevating like while I'm dropping, and just to make people want to go back. You know what I'm saying? Because when I, because yeah. like, I may drop like, like a compilation tape though. I might with like some unreleased songs and some of the older, more known songs that's on SoundCloud. Like just because I know people don't really, people are kind of getting out of the SoundCloud wave and like everything is just like, like just uh, third party streaming services and all this stuff. Yeah, there's so, like a hundred of them now. Exactly, like dude. You know? 
for real. Like I be on Tidal and Apple Music. So. There's that whole like, band camp scene too, where it's just like yeah. you know all like the lo-fi stuff is just going crazy over there. You got like yeah, the Academy. A lot of people don't understand. Just coming from somebody who's done this their whole life, I'd be rapping regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. without pain, I'd be making these songs regardless. Blood, blood. Hey. Sure. Ratchet with the righteousness, I stab you with the ice, I spit a walking contradiction. I'm on addicts with the biker that hazardous. Got them bodies, got casket for those. Ops would have happened to those. Your dog need a catheter. Pop a shot, some shit bagging your bros. Wanted for murder and rap. A nigga trying to be.